Okay, welcome back to another video guys. I'm Swite. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of items that I found while looking ar around on the Terraria wiki and wanted to showcase here. And they're pretty cool and pretty unique as well. You already know what they are probably from the title and thumbnail, but we're going to check them out. I've already crafted them and I'll tell you guys how to craft them too and how to get the stuff you need to craft them obviously. But shorter video today just because I wanted to do a little item showcase and I might do more of these as well in the future. I'm not sure. So we have two items down here as you can see. We have a pair of boots and this. So first let's look at the boots. The amphibian boots they're called. The wearer runs super fast, it increases jump speed and allows auto jump, and it increases fall resistance. So this is a combination of, I think you can only create it with the sailfish boots version of the Hermes boots. I'm not completely sure about that, but I just followed that recipe. And the way you get these sailfish boots is by fishing. You can find them in crates. And then the other item that this has, if you didn't already guess, is the frog leg, which you also get from fishing. The frog leg is kind of rare. It is a 1 in 500 or 1 in 250 chance to get it out of fishing, I believe, depending on the fishing power that you have. But I went ahead and I did a bunch of fishing this past day and I got some frog legs for these items. The frog leg lets you jump faster, it allows for auto jump, and it increases fall resistance. So, this is a useful item. I don't think that it is better than the lightning boots or even the spectre boots, but you could use the amphibian boots if you did get them before you got spectre boots, and they would be pretty dang good because you can run quickly with them. They do that same function. Also, I have this cloud and a balloon, so it, I think it propels my jump even further. As you can see, I have an absolutely massive single jump. It goes up to this tree, it's pretty crazy. And then you can just hold down your jump button and it will auto jump. And I feel like this is generally just a fun little mechanic more than a practical one, although it can be useful if you have wings and touch the ground and just want to instantly reset them. You will jump up immediately after you hit the ground and reset your wings. So it can be helpful in those kinds of situations. And then our second item, we have the frog gear, which I think is the more viable one. And I think it would be a good one to get. So you get to swim, because you do need a flipper for this. You can climb walls, which means you need the tiger climbing gear, and for that you need climbing claws, and shoe spikes. Which generally, none of those three items are too difficult to get. You'll find the climbing ones in underground chests. Maybe surface chests too. I think you do find them in surface chests. Or maybe only surface chests. I'm not positive. But that is where you find those and you find the flippers in the underwater chests on the sides of the ocean. Probably any underwater chest has a chance to get a flipper. And then you can get all those items from fishing crates as well. That is another way to get them. Although it is less consistent and you are probably gonna find them quicker just by playing through normally and looking around your world. And then it also gives you the abilities that the frog leg does, like I went over with the amphibian boots. And so I think this is a really cool item and it's also a pretty good one, at least for like this stage where you could get it. I could have gotten it earlier than I did, but I only found out about it just a little while ago, so yeah and i had to go around and try to craft it because i wanted to see how it worked but i think that this is genuinely a fairly good item the drawback is that you if you are used to crafting master ninja gear in hard mode this is going to take away the tiger climbing gear that you do need for that and i feel like that can be a drawback because finding two pairs of shoe spikes and climbing claws could be a little bit difficult and won't always happen so that's that's really up to you though but i think that this does provide a multitude of helpful abilities and i think that it is it is worth getting at least it is for me because i'm definitely going to use it i get this massive jump i get to climb the walls i get to swim whenever i want all that other stuff i think it's a really cool item and as you can see i have these these little these little frog hands and frog foots right here from the frog gear and yeah, I think that's just about going to do it for this video, you guys. Just a little item showcase. I may do more of these in the future. I'm not sure. But 
hope that you guys did enjoy this one learned about these items as well if you didn't already know just try them out and have some fun uh, it gives the frog leg more viability and i'm happy about that because i think the frog leg is a just a nifty item you know but yeah that's gonna be all for this one and i'll see you all in the next video